Hello everyone, we are now at Lake Tanuki. Actually, this is a man-made lake and there is a famous big hotel around here. And it's one of the chances to shoot the Diamond Fuji if you come here around 20th of April before and after or 20th of August. So those are the two chances to get the Diamond Fuji uh, when the sun would rise exactly on top of the mountain and then of course you have to use the filter on your camera to get those rays to look like a star otherwise it's just a yellow blob <laughs> so with the filter you might get a one in a million picture especially if the weather is nice if the um, lake if there is no wind and the lake would be calm then you have a perfect reflection so you have a double Fuji, that's what they call double Fuji and a double diamond Fuji. Anyway, now it's not the season. I came here for the autumn leaves, but uh, this hour it's close to sunset. So let's hope we get a reddish type of Fuji. And just behind us is the Kyukamura Hotel where you can come by highway bus. It was really cheap, but it took a very long time from Tokyo. So that's how you can get here. And in front of the hotel, there are many paparazzis lined up with their cameras um, to photograph some amazing sunset. Everybody's hoping on some wonder from the skies. And you could walk all along the Tanuki Lake. This side there are a lot of tents. Now it's a bit dark, so many tents you could actually, and much better it would be if you uh, stay here. Then you have this to yourself in the morning, sunrise, sunset, and no worries about getting back to the bus or coming too late so this is on the borders of the lake there is walking paths there is even you know in case you get um drowning in the lake so it looks like this now we have a nice contrast now you can see all these tents here it actually looks so pretty and I'm really sorry that I'm such a chicken and didn't bring my own tent that I actually bought recently because I'm kind of worried about cold. Um, so yeah, see, we can get a lot of beautiful angles. It of course looks nicer if you bring such elements like See, like nature, <laughs> plants, trees, this would be nice. And it does have a pinkish color. So I'm going to stay here till sunset and hopefully get some interesting pictures that I can upload. As as a front photo for the video and yes that cloud is annoying um, one good rule is to come to Mount Fuji just after big rains or just before big rains to get dynamic interesting skies and clouds and otherwise it could be just too boring. So, okay. And since I'm in dark, I'm wearing something reflective to, you know, to beat that mountain <laughs> with my sparkles. So, I hope you add Lake Tanuki to your database of places to see Mount Fuji. Not only the Kawaguchiko and the ones that people go so often to. So, see ya in the next video. Bye bye Fuji!
Okay, let's try a zoom. Now you can see how my phone is broken. But, yeah. Yes. Yeah, see the soil is reddish. Ouch. And so if it's hit by the sun at specific angle, it sparkles even redder. So once again, I'm going to leave you with this.